Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today we are doing a Samba Samba unboxing. These shoes are literally everywhere. Um, they are sold out right now, but they do restock kind of periodically on a whole bunch of different websites. So I will link where I got mine. I got mine from Aritzia, but I will link a whole bunch of different options for you guys to check, especially if you are Canadian. I know that in Canada, we have a much more difficult time accessing like limited edition sneakers and stuff. And a lot of times you have to just go to like GOAT or StockX to get it, which is a little frustrating. But anyways, um, also, sorry for the hair. I, you know, when you just, when you blow it out, I did it the same way I did it the last, like, two or three times. And it's just not sitting the way I want it to sit. So, I'm having a struggle. But, anyways, we're gonna move on to the shoes. <laughs> okay. So, it came in a giant box from Aritzia. They shipped from Vancouver. Um, or like Richmond, not Vancouver, but there's a warehouse in Richmond and there is a warehouse, I want to say in Mississauga, which is close to where I live. So unfortunately these didn't come from the close one or else it would have been quite a bit faster. And I'm filming this during like Lunar New Year right now. Um, I bought these before Lunar New Year. You're not supposed to get new shoes during this time, but they arrived today, just the 12th. So not great on the superstition front, but it's okay. I'm not, I bought them before, and I'm just not going to wear them. So they come like this. And I got a size 7, which according to every single website is the size I'm supposed to get. These have a different size chart. Um, usually it's like a two size difference. So I'm a size 8 in women's and a 6 in men's. This is only a one size difference. And yeah, I don't know why, um, but... I don't know. Um, I guess Adidas has very different sizing. So the colorway I got is white, black, and it says white, core, black. And I don't know. yeah, these are the OG style, apparently. I don't know, guys. I just literally ordered it. I have not done a ton of research into these, but I know that there are tons of different options. And I thought these would make great kind of updates to the new balances that I have that I love. I'm hoping these are just as comfortable, but these are a leather sneaker. Not, at least I hope, but it feels like leather. Um, so I keep saying um and so, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm apparently really out of it. They are probably gonna have a little bit less forgiveness, a little bit less room, and they're going to take some breaking in. So I'm hoping that I can break them in quickly and uh, not super painfully, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me just really quickly pop onto the Aritzia website and then I will try them on for you guys so you can see what they look like on my feet So sambas. Um, I'm only referring to the Aritzia site because This is where I bought them from so I don't want to like Pull the description from a different site and then like inadvertently pull the wrong shoes so it says, fame hasn't changed them. Born on the soccer field and now living everywhere, the Samba is a classic lace-up sneaker, long revered for its effortless street style. They're made with a soft leather upper, suede overlays, and a rubber sole, and they come in unisex sizing. Details, it says, even midsole, ortholite cushioning, abrasion-resistant Addy Tough. Um, it says, synthetic leather outsole rubber. 
don't know what synthetic is, but care wiped down with a damp cloth. So I'm going to assume that means no, no washing machine. But yeah. Okay. Let me pop these on for you guys and we will see what they look like. Like falling deeper, cold and nice, that no more shit. I'm getting no more shit. Okay, so kind of initial thoughts on them putting them on. Definitely the seven, I think, was the right size. I think anything smaller would have been too small, definitely bigger, too big. So for me, I'm size eight in women's. Um, and I wear a size 8 pretty consistently across the board. Um, quite good. They are $130, which is actually quite affordable for a pair of sneakers. I mean, yeah, I feel like most shoes in this kind of... The, the New Balance dad shoes, Converse, all that sort of stuff are in that $100-ish kind of price point, give or take. So definitely a good price. And so far, very comfortable. I'm very excited to get to styling these. I think for me, especially because I wear a lot of jeans, there is always the want, the need to kind of spice it up. But I have seen somebody wearing cheetah print Sambas and they look so cool, but I just can't commit to it. So I was like, I'll just get OGs. What I really want now maybe is I want the Kith ones for golf, but they're kind of expensive. So unsure. But anyways, they are new faves. I'm really excited for them. Definitely, I have worn my other New Balance ones to bits and I will still continue to wear them. But, you know, new season new uh direction i think like the other thing with my new balance ones that i have that i really love the, like the 530s not the 530s the oh i forget the name um they're just not as polished looking as i want them to be and then the axel arigato ones that i have aren't as comfortable for like a day-to-day -day wear so i'm hoping these are like the intermediary where they are good casual but they're still put together enough that sort of thing so We'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyways, that is the video. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. There are new videos coming at you almost every single day, I wanna say. Um, I have a lot of content that I am really excited about that I really want to share with you guys. I have so many ideas, so I'm just working on getting it out to you and I hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.